Every day, travelers make their way all around the world using planes and airports. For decades, airplanes have been a leading form of transportation, helping to take us from place to place and even bring us to foreign countries on adventures. Whether you're flying for business, leisure, or vacation, you can't deny that planes have become one of the most popular ways to get from one place to another. Though little do most people realize that some unbelievable incidents have happened many times at airport terminals. Customs officials see time and time again the links people are willing to go in order to smuggle odd things onto an airplane. Whether it be illegal items or even a human being that's stored away in luggage, these stories are bound to shock you and give you goosebumps. But before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. The Boy in the Suitcase this is one of the most shocking cases in airline history and will leave you speechless. Back in 2015, this case took place on the Spanish border of Morocco. It was a day like any other for most of the workers, though their lives were about to be changed forever. A woman strolled into the airport rolling a pink suitcase behind her. It wasn't the suitcase that was unusual, but rather the look on her face and the difficulty she was having while pulling the luggage. Workers immediately noticed that the woman was having a very hard time lugging the suitcase behind her. It seemed like a very heavy object had been placed inside, yet the woman was doing her best to keep a straight face. As she brought the bag over to the attendants, they realized something was horribly wrong. They refused to let the woman pass through the inspection area without opening her bag and revealing what was inside. As she unzipped the bag, the workers were stunned by what they saw. A young boy had been stuffed inside the suitcase, barely able to move. The young man was perfectly healthy, all things considered, but because of his mother's actions, he was taken into protective custody. No one knows how long he must have been stuffed in the luggage, but it seemed like the woman was trying to get him across the border to Spain where his father lived. The woman was obviously arrested and charged for endangering the young boy, but we don't know too much about what happened after this. Hopefully, the boy's now safe. Baby Tiger from Thailand this case is almost as tragic as the last one, but thankfully everything turned out to be just fine. Back in the summer months of 2010, an employee at an airport in Thailand made a discovery that would change his life forever. Bangkok is known for being a massive area that sees dozens, maybe even hundreds of planes land each day. Because of this, security has to be on their toes at all times to catch any would-be criminals before they make their way across the border. Thankfully, security was working very well on this particular day, with the computerized scanners showing security guards the contents of each of the passengers' bags. One bag in particular caught the eye of the attendant. The bag was filled with stuffed animals, but one of these animals looked much different than the rest. That's because it was a baby tiger. This tiny cat had been heavily sedated and forced into a luggage bag. He was surrounded by soft toys to keep him safe during transit and presumably keep security guards confused as to whether he was a real cat or another toy. The cat was only eight weeks old when it was discovered. As it would turn out, the cat was on its way to Iran to be illegally sold to a collector. Thankfully, a wildlife rescue agency stepped in and took the cat away, promising it a much better life. The man who tried to smuggle the cat will likely be facing serious consequences for his actions. The Plaster Cast of Illegal Powder this is one of the most unbelievable stories I've ever heard, but it's 100% true. In 2009, the Spanish police made a disturbing discovery when a man arrived at an airport in Barcelona. The man was from Chile and was trying to buy a ticket for Spain. However, the workers at the airport were suspicious of this man from the very beginning. For starters, he wanted to bring some strange items along with him. For example, he wanted to bring two folding chairs and six beer cans along for the ride. Obviously, this seemed a bit odd to the workers, but they were more than happy to help him in any way they could. 
They pulled out their scanners and began scanning his strange luggage, only to realize that he was up to no good and had much more dubious plans in mind than to simply travel to Spain for a visit. They discovered that the legs of the folding chairs had been filled with an illegal powder, and all six of his beer cans were filled as well. They had been meticulously opened, stuffed, then resealed. Though this isn't the craziest part, the man also had a broken leg. Workers had encountered men like this before, so when they noticed the cast on his leg, they were immediately suspicious. They decided to test his cast, and in a shocking twist, his entire cast had been made out of the same illegal powder. He truly did have a broken leg, but police believe he broke his leg on purpose so that he could transport these illegal goods to Spain. Thankfully, he was captured before this could happen. The Woman with a Chastity Belt be warned, this story is pretty graphic, but it's also hilarious. It's not nearly as tragic as some of the other cases, but it definitely outlined some marriage issues this poor woman must have been facing at home. Back in 2004, a group of officers at an airport in Athens were alerted when a woman tried to cross the border, yet the metal detector at the airport terminal continued to go off each time she walked through. The woman was trying to return home to London after spending a few days in Greece. As she made her way through the airport, security checked her luggage and found nothing unusual, but her body continued to sound the alarm as they tried to pass through the security check. Because of this, they were forced to conduct a full body search to find out what was going on before she would be allowed to enter the plane. As it would turn out, the woman's husband did not trust her to go to Greece alone, yet he was unable to go. As a middle ground, they compromised and she was forced to wear a chastity belt while she was on the trip. The husband kept the key at home in London. Who knows what may have led to such severe trust issues in their marriage, but the woman was extremely embarrassed to say the least. The guards eventually let her through and she continued on to London without any issues. The Body from Texas This is by far the strangest story to come out of the American South in the last few years. The workers at an airport in Atlanta were completely shocked when they were asked to check a human body at the security terminal. The body, by all means, appeared to belong to a deceased person. They were passing it through the security check and could not believe that someone would try to bring such an item onto a plane. This would be one of the strangest moments for the TSA agents in their entire careers. They had to check every square inch of the body, ensuring that the person wasn't holding any weapons such as a knife. But they soon realized that this wasn't a real person at all. It was a prop from the film Texas Chainsaw Massacre. When they realized that this was nothing more than a doll, they lightened up on the passenger a bit and allowed him onto the plane. They decided to take a photo of the discovery and post it on Instagram. We have no idea why this person was trying to take the doll onto an airplane, but I suppose you can do whatever you want so long as it's legal. Who knows what plans this guy had for the doll, but at least he wasn't trying to smuggle a corpse onto the plane. Fort Lauderdale's Human Skull Fragments Working with the TSA can be a very difficult and taxing job. These workers are tasked with combing through every inch of a person's luggage before they can get onto a plane. When you realize that millions of people fly across the globe each day, that makes a lot of work for these employees who want nothing more than to keep the other passengers safe. Items like illegal chemicals or weapons aren't found too often, but when they are found, it makes it all worthwhile. Though nothing could have prepared these workers for what they would discover back in 2013. In Fort Lauderdale, Florida, two young women were coming home from a vacation in Cuba when they shocked the world with one of the souvenirs they had brought back from their trip. The TSA scanners showed that the women were carrying flower pots with them. The flower pots had been completely sealed, yet the scanner showed something was stuffed inside of them, and it wasn't dirt or seeds. The pots were opened up, and the workers found that human skull fragments had been stuffed inside. The women were immediately pulled aside and interrogated, but the workers soon learned that the women had no idea what was truly inside of these pots. They never found out where the skull fragments came from.
came from or who they may have belonged to. Some people claim that they could have been used in voodoo or some sort of ritual. The truth is, we may never know. The Chihuahua in the Carry-On Luggage This story is from 2009 and marks the first time an incident like this happened at an airport in Spain. TSA workers were scanning a man's luggage when they noticed that there was some sort of small animal inside. They thought that it may have just been a toy, but considering how nervous the man was, they decided to open up his luggage and check it out. Inside, they found a tiny chihuahua that was being smuggled from Spain to Ireland. We don't know what plans the man had for the dog once he got it to Ireland, but the TSA officials called in law enforcement to investigate. The dog was obviously taken from the man and transported to an animal welfare facility so it could be checked out. The little guy was clearly worn out from his long journey, but he was mostly healthy and was expected to make a full recovery. According to the workers, this was the first time anyone had ever tried to smuggle a living animal through the airport. We don't know what happened to the dog after he left the welfare facility, but we hope he lived a long and happy life. This just goes to show you never know what lengths a person may go to in order to bring their pet across the world with them. Which of these stories did you find the most interesting? Do you know of any other strange items that people have tried to smuggle onto planes? Let us know in the comments, and your stories or ideas may make it into a future video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.